Good Monday morning, everybody, live and direct from the surprisingly breezy News Channel 3 backyard. I'm meteorologist Austin Onig with an update of our video weather blog, Weather Overtime. If you're just joining us on Periscope and Twitter, thanks for stopping by. If you have questions about the forecast, please drop them into the comments section. We'd love to see where you're from, so your location and or your weather forecast or whatever you've got in the way of that thermometer outside of your kitchen window telling us a little bit more about what it looks like in your location. Please let us know a little bit more about that. Decided to get outside for this morning, partly because the News Channel 3 studio is occupied with a little bit of stuff that usually goes on at this time of the morning. We have, again, Otis Sanford taping his commentary piece, and we've got a lot of music going on in Studio B after News Channel 3 live at 9. So this seemed to be like a good idea. Also, that direction, we've got, again, a little bit more in the way of rain coming our direction. So we might as well go ahead and get outdoors while we possibly can. It's a beautiful morning. No problems with travel for right now. But if you have any plans, plans for outdoors, we may be again looking at the potential for some more problems into the near future. We'll talk more about that coming up here in just a little bit. If you're joining us on Facebook, we'll get to that forecast here coming up in just a little bit, so stay tuned for more there. A look into the backyard right now, taking a look into and around the area just behind me. That's Big River Crossing that you can see. Where's my fingers right there? There we go. Big River Crossing back there, News Channel 3 Studio backyard. We're actually just into the backyard area. If I can keep my camera from blowing over by just a little bit, sorry about that. And as of right now, there's the studio building. Everybody inside, wave hello right now so we can see you. A little bit on the reflective glass side of things. The windsock up there are getting a little bit of some breeze for this morning and otherwise not doing too badly into the Mid-South for right now, but we are going to continue to see more clouds. The sunshine that you see on my face and shoulders is going to be going away relatively soon as we look for the potential of more chances for showers and thunderstorms into the rest of the day today. If you'd like to see more of our weather bug cameras, we'll show those to you coming up here in just a little bit. In the meantime, enjoy the outdoors if you're able to get out there for the rest of the day today. Current camera from around Windyke Country Club in Memphis. A few golfers out and about and also seeing again a little bit of cloud cover and some blue sky out there. Forgot to mention that if you can't stick around for the whole forecast, that's okay. Check out right here and you can see more about the forecast at News Channel 3 and beyond and more about our social media information here, there, and where did it go? Hang on a second, right there on that screen right there. So something you can take a look at. Again, Windyke Country Club Cam, also available at Weatherbug. And from Germantown, just up the road. Again, a little bit of cloud cover and a little breezy there as well, but not doing too bad for right now. Checking in on radar. We do have, again, a little bit of activity showing up just to the uh, west of Memphis at this time and starting to develop. The problem we've got is that a lot of this rain is falling into very dry air, so a lot of what we're looking at for right now is basically, for all intents and purposes, evaporating as it gets down closer to the ground. So what do we have? rain several thousand feet up down toward the surface. You might get a raindrop or two, but that's really going to be about all that we see at this point. Beyond that, we're just not really picking up that much at this time. Zooming in a little bit closer around St. Francis County, close to around Forest City, and into around southeast Arkansas, more chances of rain heading on through into eastern parts of Mississippi. Some scattered showers north of Tupelo, back over toward Boonville, Dumas, Jumpertown, picking up some activity, but that's decently south of Corinth and Kossuth at this time, although we do have a few light scattered showers trying to show up into parts of the area, into and around areas close to around uh, northeast areas of Mississippi, so we are picking up a little bit of activity there. The metro area at this time, again, really just not that much showing up just yet, but we will be looking for more chances of showers dropping into the Mid-South as we get into the rest of the day. So if you're heading out the door pretty soon, take the umbrella with you. You're going to need it at some point in time. We'll keep you updated on the chances of rainfall, but right now the heaviest activity from just west of Forest City back down to around west of West Helena, between there and Little Rock, and a good possibility that we're going to to see some more thunderstorms developing out of this as we get into the course of the rest of the day. So some wet roadways possible, possibly some short tempers as we get into tonight because we all know again how well commute time goes around here when we get some rainfall into the forecast. So please keep that in mind. If you got any comments about the forecast, any questions, please drop them into the comments section on Periscope and Twitter. Would love to know more 
about where you're from and what's going on out there. Let's go ahead and switch over to temperatures real quick on WeatherNet 3. Numbers across the Mid-South, again, mainly back into around the lower to mid-60s, and all this information available from our WeatherNet 3 source. You can get there by going to wreg.com slash weather, the website up above my head there. And again, more on the web cameras also available at these locations and more information about live real-time within a few seconds weather. And that is definitely a lot more than what you usually see from updated every once in a while with the National Weather Service. Another look at Windy Country Club real quick. Let's see, Ole Miss is back up and operating. That's cool. So the view from the Ole Miss campus at this time, again, showing a lot of clouds over Ventress Hall, sitting right there in the middle and looking off toward the Student Union. Could be a couple of rain speckles on the uh, camera housing, but otherwise not doing too bad at this point in time. And from Heidelberg Elementary, one of our weather bug stations in Clarksdale, Mississippi. Windy, doesn't look like too much rain just yet, but more rain heading your direction as you just saw on radar. Currently on the satellite picture, again, we've got plenty of clouds developing and even more moisture heading up from the Gulf of Mexico. That's going to give us, again, the potential for more cloud cover into the rest of the day today. Probably going to be tomorrow night before we see some clearing skies coming our direction. We'll talk more about that in your forecast coming up here in just a little bit. Currently in and around the Mid-South area, we've got temperatures back mainly in the 60s. We've got 66 degrees currently at Memphis International Airport, 64 very popular West Memphis, Millington, Somerville, back toward around Bolivar and up to around Covington. That is Covington Municipal Airport there. A little farther out, we'll zoom out and give the system a little bit of a time to uh, reset by just a little bit, but we're looking back toward the north and west of us into the upper left-hand corner of the window over here. Time to play spot the cold front once again, and you can definitely see where the change in temperature is occurring back into around northeast Kansas and into around parts of Iowa, Missouri. Temperatures very mild, but back into Nebraska and western Kansas. Temperatures in the 30s, 40s, and if you look even farther, all the way back into around Colorado and Wyoming, we've got snow coming down, and it looks like temperatures back into the teens. So this is going to be a very sharp cold front heading our way, looking again at some much colder temperatures heading into the Mid-South into about the next 24 hours. We'll explain more about how that's going to happen coming up here in just a little bit. Storm Prediction Center is showing again, ooh, this is a new forecast here. This just got updated. We now have a slight risk of severe weather in the yellow shaded category just to the west of the Mid-South area, back to around portions of western Arkansas, east Oklahoma, and a good swath of western and southwestern Missouri. That's going to be the highest potential of anything involving severe weather. Slight is a good possibility. The lesser possibility in the dark green marginal area, which now has extended into the Mid-South area, including the metro, it looks like for part of the area and extreme northwest Mississippi, which means the threat of severe weather is now starting to get a little bit closer to us. It's not much, but it is still going to be a possibility into later on tonight. So what are we looking for? Main potential is going to be the possibility of maybe small hail and damaging winds with this storm. It doesn't look like a huge amount of activity. The worst is going to be in that yellow shaded area. That's where we're getting, again, the potential of the highest potential of anything involving storms. Mena, Fort Smith, Arkansas, east of Tulsa, Springfield, Jefferson City, Columbia, west of St. Louis, east of Kansas City. That's going to be, again, the main area we're going to be popping up with the possibility of thunderstorms out there, and that's what we're going to be looking for into the rest of the day today and into tonight. Tim and Jim will be here throughout the evening hours to keep you updated. Uh, National Weather Service in Memphis is showing again the potential for mainly strong thunderstorms for tonight. Borderline severe. Again, it's going to be one of these storms will pop up with not much of anything, and then another storm down the line will have pea-sized hail, gusty damaging winds of about 55 miles per hour, so we could be looking at some more problems coming up as we go into the rest of the forecast, especially into later on tonight. Now, the front itself is still well on back toward our west. It's into around the Plain States area. As we get into the course of the next couple of days, we are going to be seeing the system make its way into the Mid-South and especially into later on tonight. Just about midnight, this storm system will be making its way just from the Missouri Boot Hill into northeast Arkansas, then making its way across the Mid-South. It'll be exiting the area. Let me get that updated for you here in just a second. Tomorrow morning at about 6 o'clock, the front will be just through the metro area, right around News Channel 3 daybreak, and then by about dinner time tomorrow night, the front is gone, and that's going to be it for the chances of rain. 
that we see across the Mid-South. It's tonight into around midnight, just before then in that red hatched area that you see that we could be looking for the possibility of some of those stronger to severe thunderstorms out there. And that's something we're going to be have to watch again decently carefully. Again, this is not a huge threat, but the main problem we've got is that at this time of the year for this area of the country, anything between early October and say into and around portions of the Mid-South for early to mid-December, we can get some nasty thunderstorms through here. Uh, if you don't believe me, ask the people around Germantown and Collierville uh, what happened back at about, I want to say, 94, uh, close to where Houston High School is right now. We can get some pretty good thunderstorms uh, developing in those locations for right now. So that could be a problem that we need to pay attention to. So again, definitely want to have your phone charged uh, just in case you need to get to someplace involving shelter. Have another way of getting your warnings. You can get them through News Channel 3 on air. Make certain your weather radio is ready to go. Make certain you've got things ready to go for warnings that you can get from the National Weather Service on your cell phone. Good opportunity to get things ready to go there. It's best to have Plan B, Plan C, Plan D ready to go when it comes to severe weather for situations like this just to be on the safe side out there. So please keep that in mind if you are going to be doing anything around about the area for tonight. A little bit on the breezy side out here. Apologies for the noise on the uh, windscreen of the microphone at this time. Hopefully it's not too gusty out there. Let's take a look and see what's going on with temperatures. Again, through the rest of the day today, this is where things start to get a little bit more interesting. We'll start to see numbers back in the high 60s. As we go into later on, more chances of showers and thunderstorms going to be popping up as we go into the rest of the next couple of hours. Now, tomorrow morning, we get into about midnight. Temperatures in the lower to mid, maybe a few upper 50s left over out there. The front continues to make its way through the mid-south. The winds at about 6 o'clock tonight, we'll be out of the south. Very breezy, 10 to 15. Wind gusts could top 20 miles per hour easily into the rest of the evening. Now, by midnight, you notice in northeast Arkansas, in the upper left-hand corner of the map, you start to see the wind barbs turn around from the northwest. That's where we start to see the cooler weather start to make its way into the mid-south area. So that's where the temperatures will be changing by just a bit. By 3 o'clock in the morning tomorrow, Tuesday, upper 40s to lower 50s, and then throughout the rest of the day. Temperatures will either hold steady through about daybreak and or start to drop by just a little bit throughout the rest of the day so that by rush hour home tomorrow night it's going to be a lot colder than what we started the day off with. So the kids, you may be heading them off to school, you may be going to work, it's going to be in the 50s, it's not going to feel too bad. Some parts of the Mid-South might be making their way into the 30s as we get toward tomorrow at rush hour. That's how big that temperature change is going to be. Drier air comes in after that and through about midnight tomorrow into Wednesday morning back down below about freezing. Now, I want to check this out real quick as we go a little farther ahead. We're going to go ahead to Thursday. Cooler, dry conditions out there. Low temperatures Thursday night into Friday morning. Could be in the mid to upper 20s. Now, this is where it gets very interesting right here. It doesn't look like a lot of moisture, but that purple blob that you see is showing the potential for maybe some snow showers in the Mid-South area. Now, again, we're not looking at a lot out there, and by midnight, the dew points are very dry, back into the teens and 20s. So, yes, we do have a potential of some snow showers Thursday night into very early on Friday morning. Again, very light activity at best, and confidence at this point, seeing as how this thing is way off into the future, not a lot of confidence that this is going to pan out, unfortunately. Is it possible we could see some flurries mixed in with some rainfall? Yes. Is it possible we're going to see something that's going to close down school or get you into a snowman building contest? Doesn't look like it for right now. Really just do not have a lot of confidence in the situation. But that's what the forecast is calling for here. And not tomorrow, but next Tuesday could be looking at the possibility of some more problems heading our direction there. Rest assured, this is something we are going to be watching very carefully as we get into the course of the next couple of days. More details on my Facebook page if you'd like to get updated on what's going on out there. Also, uh, if you're just tuning in for this morning, and I don't think I can get a picture of it for right now, but I'll try to in just a little bit. This update from News Channel 3's Corey Ventura as maintenance on the I-55 bridge is causing a lot of backups around Macklemore and right down into around the area. Uh, I can see the traffic backing up on I-55 right here from the backyard, so that might be an area to avoid for later on just to be on the safe side. Also, follow along on Twitter, which you can catch more updates, and hopefully you're able to, again, follow along uh, 
uh, with our forecast going on here for this morning, we again see a good quiet start to the day and the work and or school week, but maybe again some possible problems as we go into later on this afternoon. Looks like that's taking a little while to load up. Don't forget also, want to remind everybody that our seven-day forecast is available at wreg.com slash weather. A great opportunity to go to get more information on this website to find out more details about what's going on in the Mid-South. Also follow along with Bob and Josh on Talkback Live. My News Channel 3 weather experts forecast is available with them Monday through Friday morning at 8 to 10 a.m. If you can't listen on AM 730 live on the radio, listen online at talkbacklivenetwork.org. Mostly sports chat, but they do a good job talking about current events and have some great guests on to talk about what's going on in the Memphis and the Mid-South area. So good opportunity to learn more about that. And again, that's Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. to 10 a.m. Let me take the iPad camera and see if I can pan around by just a little bit and show you what I'm seeing here uh, for this afternoon. You're looking at the old bridge, the I-55 bridge, Bridge and the Harahan and Frisco bridges over there. And let me see if I can get right through there. If you see right in the center of your camera, uh, traffic heading onto the I-55 bridge. Looks like it's moving along decently well, but there is a little bit of a slowdown going on there as the maintenance continues on I-55. So that might not be a bad idea uh, to avoid that particular area. There's some more of the semi-trailer tractor trucks uh, going through there, moving at a fairly low level of speed. So again, I-55 might not be such a bad idea to avoid that at this point just to be on the safe side. Time is just about as we go through the mid-morning hours it's just about 10 till 11. I'm going to hop back into the News Channel 3 studios and post this on Facebook. It's a little bright out here to be doing things on Facebook unfortunately but we'll give it a try in just a little while and we'll also have more coming up on News Channel 3 at noon so stay tuned for that. Tim and Jim will be on the air tonight keeping track of what's going on with weather so definitely want to stay tuned for more. There are questions, concerns, ideas about what we have on here and what you would like to see if there's something you would like to see on here with regards to climate information, the Mississippi River level over my shoulder, if you'd like to get military weather where your friends and loved ones may be stationed, I want to know about it. I can't do this without you. So if you'd like to see anything on here, that blue bar up there in the phone area right below the clock, that's my email address at austin.onic at wreg.com. So you can find out a lot more going on there. And let me know what you want to see on here. Be glad to have you along for the ride. And if you have any questions or concerns, would love to have your ideas and suggestions suggestions on this. So please let me know and come along for more information on weather overtime as we go on throughout the rest of the day. I'm meteorologist Austin Onyx. Stay tuned for more on News Channel 3 at noon. And if anything turns severe, Tim and Jim will have more details on that coming up later on tonight on News Channel 3. Stay tuned to News Channel 3 on air and online for the latest weather information for the Mid-South and beyond.